So, with New Year's right around the corner, I decided to look back at my top 5 favorite One Piece chapters of 2016. Coming in at number 5 is One Piece manga chapter 816, Dog vs. Cat. Now this chapter is really only on this spot for one reason, that is mainly based off of things that happened in previous chapters, but that reason is of course, the epic, amazing moment that brought Zoro fanboy to tears. Rizo Dono is stink. When I read that, you can go back in my library action, it didn't even register for me. I literally continued reading it like whatever. Like it didn't register the full weight of what that meant. And these mix had nearly died after everything. Their entire species could have been wiped out. But no, their entire country could have been destroyed. But they would not sell out Rizo. And for me, that was just... How could you beat that? It's actually quite easy. Bring back one of my favorite characters. Coming in at number 4 is One Piece Manga Chapter 823 titled A World of Buds. This chapter is on here solely because I like Vivi. Now yes, there is the reverie set up, but honestly, if it wasn't for Vivi, I don't know if this would be on here. I don't know if this would be what I think of my top 5 chapters of the year. This would be one of the first things to pop into my head if it had not been for Vivi. The stuff with the Reverie is great. The Reveries are amazing and very interesting. And I already have two videos I plan on having go out about the Reverie news we got earlier this year. So yeah, that's nothing great. But it was just, even finding out the, the Reverie was about to happen did not compare to the hype I felt for Necrava Vivi showing back up and announcing she would be at the reverie even inspiring me to kind of in a fit of fanboy fanboy enthusiasm make a video about DD joining the crew somehow in fact I will link that theory somewhere on screen plus all the characters we see returning this like Sally I was blown away Oda had the tendency to bring back old characters but seeing Stanley again just blew my mind. Seeing Sabo's brother again was just like, wow. But I think it's time for number three. One Piece Manga Chapter 842, The Power of Fullness. Now, I have always been a supporter that there is something up with Gear 4. Be it it has multiple forms or it's incomplete, that there has to be something. And Dan Luffy revealed Tank Man full virgin in the just made me have a heart attack. I, in my live reaction, I jumped out of my seat and I was like, how can you beat that, Oda? You can't beat that, Oda. You have showed us another virgin in Gear 4. People have been speculating about this since Gear Force was first shown. We were like, this can't be it. There's too many flaws in the form. There has to be more forms or it's incomplete, and the hype I felt when Luffy was like, Tank Man, I just was inexplainable. I can't explain how hype that made me. And that definitely deserved the number three spot on this list. Number two, One Piece Manga Chapter 846, Luffy vs. Sanji. I do not cry. Ask anyone that knows me. I am not a crier. I rarely even get teary-eyed. Even with One Piece, it's hard. Even One Piece has a hard time making me cry. And One Piece can make a lot of people cry. But, I will be honest. I teared up during Luffy vs. Sanji. If it had not been for the hype I felt at the same time, when I was watching that, well, reading that fight, I felt the mixture of, like, supreme hype that the two of these incredibly powerful character fighting, but I also, kind of like with Naruto and Sake, I cry a little bit because I'm seeing these two friends fighting. I, I don't want to see Luffy and Sanji fight. I want to see Luffy eating Sanji food and just going past that to Luffy going on a hunger strike and talking about how without Sanji he can't become King of the Pirates. That's for me just hit home and you can't beat that for me. There was one chapter that trumped all of these. And some of you may disagree, 
but this is my number one chapter of 2016. Coming in at number one, One Piece Manga Chapter 818, Within the Whale. This chapter has so many revelations in it that I just love. It's, okay, you want to understand something about me to understand why this is my number one. Fighting is great, but I love lore, and I love character information. I love character information, lore, got character dynamics, character relationships, character interaction, but mostly lore. I love, love lore. So getting all this information about all this different stuff, the road Ponyglet, the Yoko, this chapter literally set up pretty much all the key points that are going to lead us to getting closer to the end of the theory. This chapter set up the goals that will lead us to the final island. This chapter was set up for the end of the theory, guys. Next chapter was so, so good. Like Luffy talking about the One Piece. Like it was in reach. For me, just, you can't beat this chapter. It's so, so good. Even now, like over, uh, probably over 10 months later, I'm still fanboying over it. This chapter is amazing. It's not a 10 out of 10. It's not a 20 out of 10. It's a 100 out of 10 chapter. There is, I had no problem with it. I love this chapter to death. It's a great chapter. That is my list of my top 5 One Piece chapters of 2016. Tell me yours in the comment section down below. Like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more One Piece videos. I have a ton of Reverie related content coming. And some Wano content coming as well. I'm going to be doing a lot of theory and prediction based content for those arcs. So you definitely want to stick around to see that. So definitely subscribe and turn on notifications if you enjoyed. And above all else guys, have a great day. This is One Piece Nation, signing out.